Let's have a look at the next conditional, the second conditional. Very similar in many ways to the first conditional as far as usage goes. So let's take the same situation as we did with the first conditional. The result of winning lottery take you on a cruise. But having a little bit less confidence in the situation actually occurring. So let's have a look at this sentence. If I won the lottery, I might take you on a cruise. Comparing that with the first conditional, if I win the lottery, I will take you on a cruise. One way you might find helpful to remember these patterns is by taking one situation such as this and then putting it in the, in the pattern of each conditional such as we did here. If I win the lottery, I might take you on a cruise. And this one, if I won the lottery, I might take you on the cruise. A little less likelihood of the situation happening. Let's have a look at the structure of the second conditional. Here we have if in the first conditional, plus the past simple, might, which we should substitute with other modals, and the base form again, similar to the first conditional. There are a couple of changes that can be made to the structure with this particular conditional. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. Notice again, still in the past simple, with the pronoun I in the past simple, you would normally use the word was rather than were, but with the second conditional, were is more typically used. Another teaching point, if I wasn't sitting here now, I could be on a beach. Rather than past simple here, we're looking at past continuous. So the structure for the zero, for the second conditional, is if plus past simple or past continuous, may, might, could, and the base form of a verb. Let's have a look at the usages for the second conditional. We're looking at dreams, if I won the lottery, looking at fantasies, and we're also looking at hypothetical situations. Let's have a look at a teaching idea that's appropriate for the second conditional. A typical teaching idea that is used is for students to work in groups of two to four and discuss situations such as this. What would you do if you won the lottery? What would we do if you were president? What would you do if you were living on a desert island? Typical situations like that that can be used to create second conditional sentences.